Sitting, sitting in pain is, um, sitting in pain. That's one of the, one of the phases, I guess, you're going through of grief, right? Um, there's those five phases of, of grief. I'm not going to sit here and educate you on that, but I want to talk about that one, that the space that we all, we all go through when we're going through grief or sadness <clears throat> Or missing somebody or um, heartache or pain or depression it all leads back to depression and our childhood trauma and um, when you are sitting there and you're sitting there and you're hurting I want you to remember this <clears throat> Your body is decaying. It's dying. As it sits, it's settling. All the fluid and solution in the blood is settling and all the thickness is just, it's settling. And as you have patients lay on their, their beds for, for days and days and days and they have that, those rashes and um, and their skin starts to die, basically. They're starting to die and starting to rot and dry out. Your mind begins to do the same thing. Your heart begins to do the same thing. Your soul begins to slowly die. You need to get up. There's no other way around it. You need to remember that if you are sitting alive and slowly dying, you cannot sit there and die. One of the best things I can ever do for my mental health, the absolute greatest thing I can ever do for my mental health was go to the gym. I went to the gym a lot with my um, my ex-girlfriend, um, but uh, and I've tried to have like other girlfriends I date go to the gym. This last one, I went to it with her a little bit more than most, but to be quite honest with you, I actually worked out a lot less while I was with her. And um, the reason why I worked out a lot less when I was with her is because, you know, just to be honest with you guys, um, as I should be, um, I had more, I had more sex with her. Um, and you know, it kind of was like physically, it was physically demanding <laughs> and I freaking loved it. Um, it was awesome. It was physically demanding and I, and, um, and it would almost like take me out to where I like the next day I'd wake up and I'm like, I don't want, I don't want, I'm not going to go to the gym. Um, I just, I just want to rest my body. That was great. But I, <clears throat> I actually, I worked out less. Um, I worked out more, more with her than I did with anyone else I've ever been with. But while I was with her, I worked out less than if I was with by myself. And when I'm by myself, I live at the gym. And if you've known me long enough to know that when I was homeless for a short amount of time or for that amount of time that I was homeless, I did live at the gym <laughs> and I love the gym. The gym has always been there for me. My sadness, my pain, my, the gym has been there for me when I built my business. The gym has been there for me when I had my daughter. The gym has been there for me when I've been through my de deepest, darkest depression. The gym has been there for me. I can always count on the gym to lift me up. And I go in the gym and I'm lifting, but it's really lifting me. And I encourage you that when you are sitting in that deep, deep pain, missing your children, majority of you, just know that they want the strongest 
man mentally and physically and the gym is where it's created the gym is where it's created there's no other way around it um, I encourage you that if you are not in any type of um, mental treatment therapy um, or on any type of uh, psych medication or seeing a psychologist or I mean a psychiatrist um, any type of therapy whatsoever if you're not and you're just trying to self heal um, continue to do more in your process of self healing there is so much more to learn but if there's one thing that you have to do is you have to go to the gym you have to lift so now that I'm single again I'm going to be lifting heavier I will be um, practicing uh, abstinence I will not be um, pleasing myself um, if you know what I mean I'm not going to be um, doing any of that I'm gonna save and salvage my energy and I will be lifting heavier I know I, I lifted heavier before her I kind of lifted heavy too while I was with her but oh, it was a lot of energy draining which was good energy draining but um, I just can't I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back to lifting heavier it's really really a good feeling and um, I encourage you guys to do the same thing that's one thing that's an absolute must is you must get up get out of your sadness get into the gym and the gym will lift you up I love you guys talk to you soon take care